Hi everyone, welcome to uh, a new series on Dark Trader Plays. Uh, this is kind of just a little bit of a look back at some classic games that I've uh, enjoyed playing over my many, many years on this planet. Um, today is obviously going to be Sid Meier's Railroads. Now this is a game from I think 2005-2006 time, um, so we are going to be going back uh, through some older games um, from sort of 2001 maybe, bearing in mind 2001 has such classics as Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Halo Combat Evolved, uh, Aliens vs Predator 2 and various other things as well. So even though it is sort of 20 years ago, there's still some very classic and very good games within there. Now, I was going to go over kind of a quick opening of this map. If you've ever played anything like Transport Tycoon or Transport Fever games or, you know, you probably played this as well at some point, uh, then you will get what this is. So, um, I realise this isn't going to be to most people's tastes, but I hope it is. And I hope, uh, you know, the, the 10 of you that are still watching at this point are going to carry on with me on this uh, little journey. I'm not going to go through the tutorial or anything. I'm just going to jump straight into the single player. I'm going to leave it on pretty much everything. I know I'm only playing on the investor, but this is just for a bit of fun, essentially. Uh, I'm going to leave it with one AI player as well. Uh, but we're going to do a few different maps, uh, or at least one different map, I should say. Um, and the one I took to go for is either Double Cross, because that's an interesting one to go for, um, or where is it? I mean, Hill Valley Rush is nice, but it's very, very easy. Southwest US is good. Northeast US is okay as well. Um, we'll go for Midwest US. I've got a friend who lives in Midwest US, so uh, hi Andy if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> we will carry on. I know he's sub to the channel, but I don't know if he watches this. I'm not going to do anything like this, though. It's going to uh, load in what it thinks is the, um, the usual uh, towns and cities within there. Okay, so it's 1840 and just three years have passed since the city of Chicago was incorporated. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, is already one of the most important cities in the East, supplying millions of bushels of coal each year. Bushels? Is that the right word? Never mind. Uh, through, though the future has vastly different fates planned for those two cities, for now, their destinies are bounded, sorry, bonded by coal and steel. So, I'm going to pause it. How do I pause it? There it is. Um, essentially... You can't really see too much of the map at the start, and the um, the mouse controls aren't fantastic. But you can see down here, there is quite a large map. So there's uh, Columbus there, Pittsburgh there, and where is it? Uh, Toronto is up there. Not, not really what I call the Midwest. Detroit is there. Um, so there's there's quite a few cities and things around. I thought it was right click to uh, to browse around, but it's not Pittsburgh. Uh, we've got Charleston there, Lexington, Louisville. And Indianapolis, now my friend lives around there. So uh, Lafayette, and back up to Chicago there. So you get to choose essentially where you want to start, and you can start anywhere. But this has some interesting little quirks with how it actually works. You can't just go and plop down a railway line anywhere you like. It has to be connected to something else. So what I'm gonna do here is you can mouse over these uh, cities and you can see what they require. So Detroit here, if I mouse over quickly, um, I'm just, doesn't make it any bigger. Uh, we'll mouse over there. So it demands two passengers, uh, sorry, it supplies two passengers and one male uh, every month, I suppose, in the game, or every uh, yeah, month in the game. Uh, but it also demands passengers, mail, food, uh, goods, cars, coal, I think that is. Coal uh, will also make iron, will also make steel. And then if you look up here in Lafayette, sorry, Saginaw? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correct. I apologise to anyone who lives there. That you know, probably don't have anyone who lives there on my channel, but you know, if I do, uh, you'll see that they supply one passenger per month as well. So one passenger per month and two passengers per month there. It's not massive in terms of the uh, grand scheme of things. But you've also got Fort Wayne down here, which is one and zero as well. And you've got other little things over here, like Battle Creek, which is uh, demanding, I believe that's iron, uh, steel, uh, and it's going to make you a steel mill. So there's, there's a chain of things which you can uh, link together to make all these things. Uh, I think I might start with, I'll uh, see what, I will start with Indianapolis, which I believe is down here. Uh, if I can remember correctly, there. Uh, just to satisfy my friend. Uh, so Saturn, uh, Saturn. Just having a quick look there, you can't actually start wherever you want. There's already one train station laid down for you. You have to start here. Um, there are ways you can, uh, mods things you can do to install to change this so you can have freedom, but I have to start here. That's probably the only drawback. But what I want to do, um, as I said before, is I want to come down to Indianapolis down here. Uh, Cincinnati, where's Indianapolis? Louisville's there, so Indianapolis is there. So I have a bit of budget. I have 500,000 at the moment. I'm going to go from my, my starting place over here just by taking some track. You connect to one end, 
and you drag as far as you want, essentially. Now, in this case, that's going to cost me 530 grand. So, to get there, I actually need to make a small stop over here at Fort Wayne. So, I'm going to drag that there. And they're going to build a depot on that side. It automatically places it. I don't have to worry about things like terrain and things like that. It will do all that for me. But I can, if I want to, build it in small chunks to, to make it a little bit cheaper or more efficient and so on and so forth. So now we have that journey there from Cleveland to Fort Wayne. We are not making any money at the moment, so we need to buy a train. So we've got a couple of trains we can choose from at the start. So we've got the 420 Norris and we have the 040 Grasshopper. And it actually says what it's preferred to be used for there. Uh, but you can see one is 48 kilometers an hour, one is 64. So we're going to choose the 64, obviously. That just makes sense. Uh, what we now need to do here uh, is try and remember how we do this. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, right, normal. So we start there. That's fine. And we go, well, let's go for three of those two of those for the time being each of these affects the actual maximum speed that the car or the train sorry can go um, but that's fine close that there and then we tell it to go there and then it's just going to repeat that journey click close we click ok and then it automatically appears within your station and we'll automatically fill up as well so that's your starting journey that just happens now automatically i don't need to do anything else with that it will just continue working as well now the beauty of this is if i wanted to do this again and say if we had a very high um, transit train thing i could build another train line adjacent to this it will automatically do it if i do lay double track I'll just lay it next to it i'm not going to now and i could do it all the way across here and go all the way across here and just do a straight double journey i don't have to upgrade the station or anything it just works so obviously we're working a little bit slowly at the moment because of the size of the, uh, you know, because of the state of the area we're in. But that's okay. We can just live with that. But we will also notice that Cleveland here also supplies, uh, demands other things. So we've got a demand for things like uh, butchers or cows, I should say, trees. Now, you would think there's trees around here, but there isn't. Um, and that's fine. Let's just have a quick look. So we have Battle Creek over here, which is steel. That was not what we wanted. There's coal up there, which doesn't work for us. Okay, so there's a, uh, a tree firm over there. So I could, if I wanted to, come over here and just drop it in behind there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a double track here. There we go. That little, uh, little tune there tells me that my journey has ended on the other end and we made some money. I'm going to come up and around here. I don't really want to do a tunnel, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, I want to go... Uh, Go to there. Okay, we can't do that just yet. We'll just wait for some money to come in. This track will come back in. Oh, sorry, train will come back in. And we will make some money. Now, lay of the land does matter when you're doing this. So, don't worry about it too much, but we will get there soon. Chunk, chunk, chunk. We've got 37, 37, 39, 21, 21. So, we made a healthy little profit off that 278 grand. So, we come back here and we go, oops. Click the wrong thing. Come back in, and that is 187, let's go to there, 172. And then when we build a depot here, it will be a slightly dip one. Um, oh, there we go, we've got a new train now. It's a passenger train, so we're not too worried about that. So now that depot did that build. Yeah, it's already got an annex, that's fine. So it's actually in the building, you can't see it there, but it is there. And again, we go to uh, build a train. Uh, we're going to choose, I don't want to choose that one because it is quite too expensive in comparison to the other one. So we're going to come back here, just use this one. There's not much difference in speed, 64 and 80. I mean, it's a bit different, uh, but this one's not designed to carry freight at all. So we'll click select. We start it at the uh, the annex that we started. Uh, let's give you six. It's fine. Click close. We click there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to clear it there. So when it goes back, it's faster because it's not going to carry anything on the return journey. So we click close. And we go okay and that will again pop into place oops turn the camera the right way and that will automatically start to fill with trees now as far as i know resources don't have any limits on what you can place in them um so they, they just keep filling up um, as they go through and they just take a little while to actually fill now because it's a passenger train and i'm using it for freight it's going to be a little bit slower than it's destined to be so if i click on that there you can see it populates down here okay and that will eventually just keep filling up and now this one will eventually keep filling up and dropping off as well and that's fine so from there i could if i wanted to come down to indianapolis um lafayette is demands oil so these ones here which are towns but demand products 
they will only fill up and only grow into actual towns with passengers and things if you complete their requirements. So what I could do, hey, you've got a new record there. Uh, I'm going to lay some track, and I'm going to go from here. Uh, oh, we haven't quite got enough money for that yet, so we'll wait for the next train to come in. So, 37, 37, 28, 24. We didn't get much mail in that one, but that's fine. 266 grand. Uh, that train has gone back. Oh no, it's stuck there at the moment. Not too sure why you're stuck there. It's not because of that, because the maximum speed would have been quite high. Uh, 129 kilometers, it's just because of the grade, I think. It's just a, a slow train, so I may have to change that to the more uh, the faster train. Chuck, 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 chuck. Okay, so that should start to speed up now at least, he says, watching it just not go at all. <laughs> Come on, speed up. Doesn't show me the speed. Oh, it does, 21 kilometers an hour at the moment, which obviously is not fantastic, but we can upgrade this soon. Eventually you will start to make a lot of money, but I do have a, a competitor, so I do need to be wary of him. So we've also got Pittsburgh down here. Doesn't demand coal, but that's okay. This one does, so we might do that soon. Right, and we get lots of money for that. Good, good, good. 438,000. So, let's go back to laying our track over here. Into there. That's fine. And then I'm going to take the track from there, and I'm just going to go up this way. 108,000. Now, build a depot up here. That's all fine. And we want to buy a train. I'm going to change it. I am going to take the more expensive one. That's fine. Oh, it is that one anyway. That's fine. And we start from there. Six again, I didn't actually build a station down there. Let me cancel that quickly. Let me build a depot in Lafayette. So you can build, still build a station in there, which is fine. And then we get the oil there. So what I can also do here is I can click in here and I can buy this power plant if I've got enough money. Just need to wait for this to go. Interest the auction, so... Uh, is that me? No, that's him. Oh no, that is me. Okay, that's fine. I'm hoping that's me anyway. I'll be annoyed if that's my competitor. No, that is my competitor. I just need some more money. Make me money, please. Someone make me money. Three, two, one. I may not miss. I didn't get it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's now gone to my competitor. He's going to make money off that, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I can't now buy that back off him. I did that. I timed that completely wrong, sadly. But never mind. Uh, so we've got a depot there anyway. Uh, we will buy a train. That's fine. It's already there. We'll go from there and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Click close. And again, click here. And then we'll clear that again. Close and click OK. And again, that will automatically populate from there. Now, you may think, well, this is dangerous because you've got a train coming in here and a train coming in here, but then I've got no line that goes from Fort Wayne to here, so that's fine. And we could do the same sort of thing with Battle Creek, and if you mouse over it for a little while, it will tell you where uh, you can actually get things from, but in this case, there's nothing. Um, so there's another little town over there. I've got nothing local which supplies that, so it's fine. We'll just keep going. Just wait for this to finish. It's only a short journey, so it won't take long at all. And we've also got another tree one over there. So the trees could go up to um, Chicago, maybe? Or possibly down to... Oh no, Indianapolis doesn't require one, so that's fine. Ah, he's already connected to Indianapolis, so I need to be really careful here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in straight into the middle of the town from here. Uh, and then build a depot in there. I like to build them in the centre. You don't need to. So long as they're in the catchment, you will get all the uh, passengers and things. That's all fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click you. I'm going to pause briefly. And I'm going to edit the uh, the cargo for this one. So we go from there to there. I then want to go into there. We're fine with whatever's in there at the moment. Then we go back to there because it's a, a three-way journey. That one. Click close. Click OK. And then we can unpause. And that will carry on doing it. So there is some competition. Like I say, um, you do have this AI guy here who is actually building up quite a bit of a network at the moment. So I need to be careful of that and make sure I can compete with him. Uh, cows down there? You don't require cows, do you? No, you don't either. So that's fine. Fort Wayne doesn't. So this is actually quite a big journey to go up here to Cleveland. I'm not too bothered about that one at the moment. I may consider that later when I get faster trains. 
what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to upgrade to this train. We'll just take that particular passenger one. Does it on the fly, you don't need to put it in a depot or anything, it's just done. Now, let me just see what Indianapolis has. We have a steel mill there. So we could take, where was that steel that I saw before? There, that colliery there. Um, we could bring it around into there. That might be an idea actually. So I'm gonna buy that steel mill. That will stay there and it will tell me if he um, tries to rebuy anything. Now, what I am gonna do here is I'm gonna double track down this side. Because that's gonna be where it comes into. Now it is a bit of an awkward angle to do it, but it's fine. Okay, lumber loss, that's fine. So that means my wood one over this way is not gonna work as well. But I can live with that. So we've got that there, that's fine. So that means now any we get double profit or extra profit when we do this. So if I go to lay track, we come off of this side here. I don't want to do it too uh, drastic. 113 is fine. 113 is fine. That's fine there. Right, we build a depot up here. Uh, we then, sorry, going to B to buy a train, is it? No? R, of course, R. Why not? Uh, so we start here, and we all make it get those. We go close, click there, and then we clear. And click close, and then OK. And that's now going to start that one too. And eventually we will get freight trains, which will make this a little bit more efficient. Um, but we should be taking most of the passengers from here. Um, he seems to be doing just coal. Yeah, so there's a colliery there. So, But that's my colliery, so he will be pumping money into my coffers for that. Now, eventually, what I can do is I can start buying this stock of this player. Um, I can't do it at the moment because it costs me most of my money, uh, if not all of my money, in fact, at the moment. But it means that eventually I can just buy him out, um, which is nice. So I'll show you that real quick. We buy one of him, and then we now have... Uh, we can buy. He's got 40% left, so uh, I'm not too bothered about that for the moment. We will keep going. And you can quickly see, when we get here steel mill down here makes me 3,800 each time so it's not massive but it's better than nothing um, okay Fort Wayne here drop them off chunk chunk don't make a huge amount of money but we make enough so that's that bit there we could also go up to Detroit from there and drop it off to Fort Wayne um, and also here, so I could make it so that we have a little uh, triangular section here. In fact, I may do that. Let's double track on this side. Uh, there to there, it's fine. And I'll double track this side from here. Oops. From here to here. Not huge, but it does make a difference um, and it's worth doing. So we come up here. Uh, I'll do it to there. And then I'm going to do the same thing from here to... Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, what are you bidding for? A shield pattern. Yeah, I don't build tunnels very, very, very often, so... Right, okay, we won't go from that side. We'll go from this side then. Just to join them together. And that's fine. So that's not massively fast, but 129 kilometers is still fine. In fact, that's going to the wrong place, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to... Uh, delete that literally just select and delete and it's done um, now I've got two sections there but that's okay uh, I want to go from there to there 322 kilometers an hour it's even faster for some reason and now we need to build a depot there that's fine and then we go R buy a new train that's fine and we're going to start it at Fort Wayne here and we're going to go one two and two. In fact, no, we will go three, four and two is fine. Close that, click there, close that, click there, close that, click there. So it does a little uh, triangular side of things. What, did I just click on that one? No, not wait until full, don't do that. <laughs> That's fine. And that will just uh, then go off and populate and away it goes. So now we'll start populating Detroit with things, but it means we can also come up here to Saginaw, uh, big rapids up here which requires trees have i got anything around here which does trees for me yes so i could come up through there to there and then back down there and it's all about building those um, networks and things that you can actually do 
the only thing I miss is the ability to zoom out so far. Uh, we'll get to Toronto eventually. Um, there's nothing up in the wilds of Canada. Nothing too far over the west. We've got a couple of farms over here which we can deal with later. We've also got an oil company there. Uh, so Cincinnati needs oil, Saginaw needs oil, and Pittsburgh, which is just here. So to get to... Oh, there we go. There's our first freight train. So we could... Now, if I click on my train, which is here, we've got that one there, which is, uh, okay, which one are we doing? The lumber one, right, the oil one, we'll do that one. So we will upgrade this train here and take that one. It does still go 80, but it's a more efficient 80, so it will, it will, laugh, it will get there better. That one is the colliery one, so we'll do that one too. We'll upgrade you too. Still got 352,000, that's fine. So it's always better to use the ones which are uh, more not efficient necessarily, but uh, are slightly better for their purpose. You require wood, so I might have to come across to here and then up here. But if I go into Chicago first, then we can do it properly. So let's go to there, then up here. Okay, then we go from here to say here. Oh, I had 320 then. I want to get it to the higher one if I can. Come on. Show me that money. <laughs> oh, that town's just upgraded. That's good. So now they require passengers. Uh, all right, we'll stick with 120. That's fine. Uh, we'll build a depot there. And then we'll go into trains. That's a freight train, so that's fine. We are going to go from there. Six of those. Go to. I'm got a depot in Chicago. Do this every time. Cancel that. Let's build a depot in Chicago quickly. And then we'll go uh, back to buy a train. Click there. Six of those. Click close. And click there. And close. And then OK. And that's good. Now. Good, good, good. So people who make re uh, newspapers are going to have uh, more income, which is fine. Now, Lafayette, I may actually need to visit. Um, so let's do so. This train that comes to here, where do you actually go? Let me just modify your route quickly. So you go there, there, there. I need to have another train which goes, I might go there, there, and then maybe come down to Indianapolis as well. We could do that. going to be tough but well, we could do it I think so I'm going to connect the track from there so there uh, can I do that any neater no because it needs to go in there so I'm going to double track this one here on the bottom like so um, uh, why have I done that actually Okay, I'll leave it there because I can always do something else with it later. I don't need it just yet. That's fine. Um, I will come off of this one here, down to here. Uh, so let me do this from here. Oh, goodness. Are you let me hook into here somewhere? That'll do. Okay, and then we buy a train. We take not that one, we take this one. We go from here, one, two, three, four, one, two, we close and go to there, same, close and then to there, close and then back to Lafayette, close. Now because Lafayette's going to be getting more passengers, um, it may actually be more beneficial to it, um, for it to grow. So this one here, we can build an empty lot, which isn't going to help me at the moment, although I could make something like a newspaper factory, but then we'll delivering papers up there anyway sort of wood up there I should say so let's click on Chicago we'll build an empty lot here new paper mill uh, oh no because we already got the furniture plant there so that's what's taking the wood in fact uh, I will take that thank you very much passenger bonus is always good you want to take that um, it is important <laughs> still means so that's fine so let's just double check here um, there we go, I own that now. Can you show me the town, please? There we go. Uh, I'm going to buy the furniture plant now. Will you not do that?
keeps thinking he can outbid me. He can't. I am going to start owning more of his property soon as well. So go away. <laughs> Just buy him out of existence so he doesn't exist anymore. Do you mind, sir? You can't outbid me. I am far richer than you. I'm assuming I am anyway. I don't actually know what the uh, the profits are in this one. Uh, it doesn't tell me there. There's a there's a screen that tells me somewhere. India is flourishing. Yes, great. Let's just get this done now. Just in time for this to come through. So that's my furniture plant down there, I think. Let's just watch as the wood rolls in. It's one of these two. Oh, there it is. 2,400. So it's not much, but I will get my money back in, say, 10 trips, which is fine. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look, see if we can see some reports. So there's view event log, go to city and chat. Okay, so maybe there isn't. Um, oh, no, there's more stuff up here. Patterns report, industries report. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be up here. Uh, competition, there we go. So you can see he's actually got more um, money than me. His net worth is higher than me for some things. Actually, what's that red line? I don't actually know what that is. Uh, well, let's buy another piece of stock. Oh, you will soon belong to me, sir. Um... Yeah. Okay, there's lots of information in there anyway. That's fine. We will come back to that. But I don't care about the competition necessarily because they won't last too long. Now, uh, you still require passengers and things. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to have another one which goes double tracked from here to here. And we will go from here to here. Uh, and that's fine. Yeah, so we've got no oil around. That is another town which hasn't grown yet. Let's build a depot in Saginaw. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I hope I am. And we'll buy a train. Go change that one from that one to the uh, passenger train. Click OK. We go, we're going to start at Saginaw. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two. Click close. We're just going to go there. Close. It's going to be a short one. It's going to be really quick. And hopefully quite profitable in the future. So. Toronto is all the way over there. I'm not going to get to Toronto just yet. Um, Big Rapids is also over there. It requires wood, and wood is up there. So I could go up there and then come back down here. In fact, I may do that. So if I connect from the back here to, say, here, and then from here all the way across to there, and then build a depot there, there, and we build a train, we go from there, we go one, two, three, four, it is the uh, cargo train, so that's fine, click close, and go to there, and then we clear, and then close, and we go okay, and that will just go backwards and forwards, and again, make me more money. Lovely, how's Detroit doing? We've got a steel mill there, um, I still can't provide anything for the steel mill for here. Ooh. And we've got a new passenger train, which is 97 kilometers now. So that might be worth upgrading some of my other trains for. <coughs> Excuse me, as I lose my voice. Um, so that steel mill. Um, supplies food, supplies food, supplies food. Uh, you have a refinery there, which supplies me goods if I have oil. Uh, and manufactured goods. You demand manufactured goods. I want to know what, you, what supplies you oil. I don't have anything oil based around. In fact, I've not seen any oil. Oh, there's oil there. So I could also double stack this one and go up here too. That would be expensive. Um, but we may have to do that because I've got nothing else which I can get oil from. There's coal though, which is no good to me. There's no oil this way. Yes, yeah, so that appears to be my closest one. Uh, okay. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, Jay, but uh, I'm going to buy some more of you. Stock exchange, world market's in panic, that's fine. I don't care, I'm still making money. And I will be for some time to come. Yeah, we've already made 200 grand in the time of that. <laughs> always buying stocks of mine as well, that's fine. I can always buy them back, so I'm okay with that. But he has only got one stock left. I just need to make sure I can buy more of his than he buys of mine. So we're all fine. So this one's going to go back and not do anything at the moment. Uh, you supply me three wood for somewhere, but you know where I've got around here demands that paper, I should say. You don't demand me paper. Um, I could, in theory, build um, this one here. 
uh, no, which one is it here? The newspaper, which takes in pa uh, paper. In fact, I'll do that. So that's mine, I think. Does it work like that? I can't buy that. No, industry already exists. Yes, so I already own that. That's fine. And then I would need to come off of there and go down here to be able to get that, which I could do. 25% um, traction. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Stop outbidding me. Only one of my pet hates. Will you stop now? So it takes the money instantly from whatever your, uh, your pot is. Sir, you're annoying me. 200 grand, that's the most I'm going to pay. After that, he'll pretty much cripple himself, so... Um, while I'm waiting for that to go on, I'm not going to actually buy anything yet, because I was going to feed that in there, but uh, I will just wait. We're at 205,000 now, so we should be able to do this. So I'm going to double track here. Just thinking maybe it's better to come around this way. Uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it probably is. So we'll come off of there. Uh, let's go to here, say, 97. Let's go 113. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. And then down here. Excellent. So that's not the most efficient, but it's not too bad. We'll buy a train. We don't want the passenger one. Uh, we will come back over here, select the freight one, and we'll go from there. And we'll paper. Go to there. And then we'll clear that because there's nothing coming back. But when um, Big Rapids goes up to do passengers, I could have passengers going back the other way. Uh, but they're just not ready for it yet. One day in the future. So Cleveland has now grown, uh, which is down somewhere. Again, geography, not too sure on it. Uh, Indianapolis, Chicago, where is Cleveland? So Cleveland, I think, is somewhere down here. I don't know. Cleveland's in Ohio. It's Columbus. Columbus is just sat there doing nothing at the moment, being very patient and waiting. Um, I could connect pa um, Columbus into either Cleveland. Oh, there's Cleveland. Cleveland is my city. I knew that. <clears throat> Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to buy that paper mill. Why not? He's not going to outbid me for that, because no point. Now, one thing that's not worth having is two of the same things internally. So, like, I have wood to paper, but I don't want to build a newspaper there as well. I'd be better off building a newspaper over here if I didn't already have one. I don't think I do. I don't. I do have a paper mill there, though, so I could take paper to it. But because I've already got paper going there, I don't need it. But what I'll do is I'll build an empty pot and build the uh, newspaper there. So that's already mine. So then I could, in theory... So if I replace this one here with this passenger one, I can also then on... Uh, so this Cleveland one comes here to Fort Wayne. So I click here and I go, well, you're going to get paper on there as well. Three lots of paper and then click close. So it's just going to take paper from there and drop it off there because that's the next stop. I then click OK, do I? Oh no, I would have got on the first one, not that one. So let's uh, close those. Click you, click close, and then why can't I click OK? Ah, because I don't need paper on those ones, so we take paper off those and then close. And then can I click OK? No? Maybe I need another train to do that then. I shouldn't do, but I mean, it's absolutely fine if I do. Um, we can double track this one here again, just to make sure nothing's interfering. And then we go track. Just there, and then we go arc, and we go from there, and we go all one, two, three, four. Close, and you go to there, and then we clear and close. Now, even though there is other stuff that it could do, oh, in fact, that's a passenger train, you absolute plonker. Uh, so change that one to the freight one, that's fine. Click OK. 
probably cost me a bit of extra money there, but that's fine. So that will just run off. Um, 69 kilometers now. Nice. And away it goes. Ooh, what's that? Cincinnati Refinery? Where's Cincinnati? Uh, unfortunately, go to industry. There we go. I'm going to buy you. You annoy me. Got a new speed record. Uh, no. It's my refinery. It is my refinery, sir. Stop it. Really? How brave are you? So that refinery will take in uh, the oil. So there's the oil there. That's fine. So now I'm automatically going to make money off of that. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Um, because he's got one of the only, only oil refineries down here as well, it does cause me a bit of a problem, um, but it's okay. So I'm going to upgrade this here to a station, just because I can. I can't upgrade these, but that's absolutely fine. I don't really care about that at the moment. I will upgrade Lafayette as well. Can I upgrade Lafayette? Yes, I can. Uh, oops, I didn't upgrade it. So it changes the actual visual appeal of the... Um, ah, Big Rapids is around to town. Right, okay, let me just sort this out. Hang on. So, uh, let me pause. Click you. Modify your route. And then on this one here, we go... Just give you some of them, just so you can take some back. And then I pause. And away you go. So that one, I made money both ways. There we go. And I'm going to take Detroit, and I'm going to upgrade you, if I can. There we go. Upgrade you to a station. Which is well worth doing. Huge oil discovery, discovered in Texas. Prices plummet, so that's fine. Uh, we will buy his last piece of thing there. And my stock is seven million. So when I get to seven million, I can start buying my own stock back. And when I can get to hit six million, I can start buying his other stock as well. So all the stock is currently bought in the game, which is fine. But he's going to get there, got to get there before me. Um, so that's fine. We are doing okay. I might need to connect in Pittsburgh soon just to come in here. Um, uh, half maintenance cost? Oh yeah, that's worth it. He's going to outbid me again, I think. No? Yeah. Uh, I don't care, sir. It's mine. Thank you very much. It's mine. Maintenance costs are things which are important for you. Now, it's important to notice these patents, you only get them for, I think, the first year of their life, and then they're free to everyone. So I got that. Um, and I don't mind that. So 10 year exclusivity, that's actually quite nice. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay track and I'm going to come from here down to Pittsburgh. Uh, into there will do me. That's fine. There is a wood company there as well and a cattle company. That could be quite good. You don't require cattle, of course, but I can come through Pittsburgh into Cleveland, who does require it. So I'll work on that in a bit. Uh, now, we will pop a depot down there. Uh, okay, new line puts... Okay, whatever that is. Someone want to pronounce that for me in the comments? Probably not. Okay, and then we buy a train, and we go from there. Uh, this is a passenger train, so we go one, two, three, four. One, two. Click. Close. And then we go to there. Close. Now, I could have this go all the way through. Uh, anything that's highlighted in light blue like that is, is available, and you can get a train going there. I'm not going to because that's going to go on my wood line. Um, that's fine. We'll just click close there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, wood, where do you need to go? You need to go to Fort Wayne and Cleveland. Oh, we've got a new freight train, 97 kilometers now. Thank you very much. So Cleveland requires wood, but we're already given wood from the lumber company, so that's fine. You don't require coal. Do you require coal? No, you require oil. That's fine. So this uh, cattle company down here, I'm going to do something with that. Now I'm going to double track on this side. Just so I can go through. And in fact I'm going to then double track again, which I think I can do here. Yes. Okay. And it's not going to stop there. Um, I need to go from track from there to there. And track from there. Whoops, to there. So that will lay nice and easily next to it. Lovely. And we need to build an annex here. And then we go R, and we go from here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Click close, and we're going to go to there because that's the only thing that requires it. And then we're going to clear it. We don't care about the rest. And click close. 
and then that's that's freight train isn't it yeah 97 kilometers now so this is going to be one of our fastest trains on the map which is all good I like the way that cows actually get on the train, you know, voluntarily because they're going to do that. And off he goes. So it rides through Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh doesn't eat food apparently. It doesn't eat anything. And then all the way into uh, Cleveland. Better buy the stockyard as well. They do jump on those things quite quickly because they do make quite a bit of money. Um, excuse me. Shouldn't have been me there. Got quite a bit of money now, which is good. Excuse me, will you stop? I want that stockyard. It is not for. It is not for you. These are permanent things, by the way. So uh, you will make permanent money off of them. It will take quite a long time to make that money back, but it's there. So, and I'd rather me have that money than him. That's mine. Lovely. So I could, in theory, um, open up in Pittsburgh. A little um, rather than a refinery I could open up something like a lumberyard or a paper mill I should say uh, or a furniture plant so I can make some money off of it because it demands the goods for it but I'd rather make the paper mill actually what makes hold on two seconds so we have in here yeah that creates paper the paper goes off there we've got nothing which makes goods in there it demands goods and goods are one of the most expensive things you can get uh, we've got a farm, we've got two farms there in fact, so is there anywhere that requires actual farm foods? That doesn't. You don't either. Uh, okay, so what I could do is I could come through to Pittsburgh here, and I could build a processed food plant here. Now. And then I could feel, oh I've got Pittsburgh oil there as well, I didn't realise I had oil there. So you demand oil too. This could be an interesting one. Because I can come down here, I can double track off this one here, come straight into Pittsburgh. The angle's going to be a bit annoying, but it's okay. Uh, so let's double track here. Here. And then let's double track again. Here. And while I'm at it, let's upgrade this one to a station. Just allows it to be a little bit faster loading and unloading, in case you weren't aware. Okay, so I've got two there. I'm going to come around on this one here and go to the farm up here first. Which one's bigger? This one's bigger, yeah. So we will do that one from the outside one first. Now, I don't want it to be too sharp necessarily. Um, that's the problem I'm going to have. Uh, oh, no, no. So 113 to there, all up there, that's fine, and let's build the annex there. Okay, and then we will double track around the outside. Looks a bit weird, but it's okay. Just to there, and then we will lay track there. Oh, hello. That didn't work for some reason. Lay track from there to there. Then we'll put an annex there. So, Pittsburgh down here, I'm going to buy that refinery. He's going to go, oh, I want to buy it. And then I'm going to go, no, it's mine. <laughs> Is he going to outbid me? Yeah, we'll do another 50,000 on that. That's fine. Looks like we've kept that. That's good. So while we're waiting, uh, that's a freight train. So we'll go from there. Six of those. That's fine to there. And clear. Close. Okay, so time stops while you're in there. It's important to realise. Um, so you're not going to sit there and go, oh, I need to hurry up, I need to hurry up. It doesn't matter. Um, we've got the food plant there as well, so that's fine. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the food from there up to here too. So I'm going to have a secondary train going this way too. Um, and I've yet to figure out how to do that, but I will work it out. Because <laughs> I can't have more than four stations here. Um, I can't double track. Oh, I can double track again. Okay, that's not something I was aware of. I thought it was only four. So because I don't want things clashing. There we go. Right, now. I then need to go from here. Six of those is fine. Click close. And then we come to... Oh, why are you not there? Are you not connected properly? Right, hold on. 
you should be connected properly. You don't look like you are. So let me just uh, delete. Nope. What's Baldo again? Is it X? No, it's just delete, isn't it? Let's just track. So. Is that within the station? I don't think it is, actually. No, it's not within the station. So four is the limit. Uh, okay, so that's fine. I've not really got this far before. So let's delete you. And then delete you entirely, because you're pointless now. Uh, and in fact... Oh, I didn't see what that said. Never mind. I don't really care about build, building bridges. Um, in fact, can I... I mean, if he's not going to bid, oh, he's going to bid for it. I'll, I'll bid 60. It's fine. So, that goes up there, comes down here. So that is still connected. I don't need to double track that one. Why was I doing that before then? Not entirely sure. Uh, he won that. That's fine. I'm not really bothered. So let's, let's go back to buying a train. Let's click there. I still can't go there. I'm sure I'm doing something incorrect here. But that looks like it's on there. Okay, let me... Uh, why am I not able to double track that? I mean, it's not ideal, but I can just go whack into somewhere there. Just so we've got a little split. And that's okay too. Not ideal, like I say, but I don't mind it too much. So we'll click there. Close, get there, and then you clear, and then close. And then away you go. And now, I can then go from there with you. Let's make it five. And close, and then you go there. And we don't want anything coming back. Oh, mm. wait. That's not what I wanted at all, is it? Clear that. Close. Close. Right, let's just let's cancel that for the time being. Let's wait for the food to come in first. Because I think that's what the problem is there. No food has actually come through, so it's not allowing me to send food through. But it's because this place is getting it's getting food, but we can still de it still demands food. Right. We're getting there slowly, it's fine. They just merge, that's fine. And this one will stop until it gets through here, I think. Or does it need to come back out past it? I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it will just stop there until that train turns around and goes back again. So there's a, bit, a little bit of a delay, but it's okay. There we go. Away it goes. So we shouldn't get that too often. It will happen occasionally. Um, and I could probably make it a little bit more efficient, but I don't mind, really. In fact, what I could do is I could take it from this one here. Yeah, let's do that. This could cause some interference because you'll get trains crossing tracks and things and that bridge looks like it's just cursed <laughs> wow but hey i'm not driving these trains <laughs> so now we go r and we go from here and we go one two three four close click there and then that's cleared believe that's what we want to do that is a freight train that's fine i'm just checking there we go okay lovely right appears to be down here that's that's fine i don't really care which platform it's on the trains work themselves out so it is okay we are now making quite a bit of money so, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've been playing this for, what, 50 minutes nearly. Um, if you've got to the end of this video here, I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you very much for coming in. Oh, paper rationing. Don't want that. Don't want to care about that either. Um, 
yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed all of this. Oh, let's upgrade you quickly. Um, yeah, you're fine as a freight train, actually. What are you? You are a log train, yeah, so we'll, we'll just upgrade you quickly. Um, ding, done. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have done so, I, I do appreciate it. It's very kind of you to stick with me for nearly an hour's worth of gameplay on a game you've probably never seen before, um, or if you have, have no interest in it at all, um, and just like listening to my voice. Um, I appreciate it very much. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be doing one of these probably once a month, uh, just to kind of sit back, just do a little talky stream to you. Uh, talky stream, talky video to you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you guys in another episode of something else another time.